This is a sailing vessel Wayuna. She's a Robinson and Kane Epic 47. She was launched in 2005 and it sailed the Caribbean, the north coast of America and uh, we're currently in Annapolis. Looking from the bow of the boat. All of Perla Hetzel. Anchoring system. The Rockner anchor. Sets extremely well. Windless under there. Which you can actually use to raise the main sail. Stepping up top. The sails in very good condition. We've had a good report from the sail maker. He suggests at least another seven years plus. Two solar panels, enough to generate enough energy for uh, the refrigeration and various other items. But if you want to run the heavy duty items, then you need to run the generator. Stepping down the starboard side of the vessel, we've got a SSB whip antenna with a VHF antenna the top of the mast and there's your radar. The rigging's been replaced this year for insurance purposes only, so you've got at least another 10 years of the, of the rig. That's the standard rigging only. Step into the back of the boat. Short power cables, 230 amps. Lovely entertaining table. We've had 13 people around there for Christmas lunch. Eight sit nice dumbbell up around there. Steering. Looking at the steering position, we've got wind instruments, depth, GPS with AIS and your auto helm compass, engine controls, throttles. You normally sail with the shades up and but sometimes with the clears gone so it gives you a nice view out the front and if it's rainy of course there's a view you can get from the home position. Stepping into the salon you've got a lovely big entertaining table, a drinks fridge underneath and our navigation station but AC panel, DC panel, converter, gen set VHF, SSB, radio, um, portable VHF, TV, another chart plotter inside, an EPIRB, and of course um, in the galley you've got refrigeration here, freezer, stove, cooktop, sink, microwave, and air conditioning panels here. And of course, last but not least, we can't forget how Moving down to the port side, you've got your guest cabins, two large queen size beds, and this, is, this is the aft cabin, of course with your own ensuite. And moving to the forward cabin, nearly a replica, with another large double bed, nice light and your own ensuite. This being owner's version, you've got the whole wing to yourself, a bit of privacy because the door does shut there. But you can totally have privacy. First off, you come down to the study and you're moving up towards the head. Get your toilet and your own shower. Independent. Washing machine and dryer. 
moving down into the main cabin. Lovely big double bed, lots of sunlight, lots of air. Your own TV if you want to stay in bed and watch TV. Yeah. 